Hey everyone, I'm Tefel and today I'm extremely happy to announce that plugin I was working for a very long time and it took so long to uh, go through uh, approval process is finally in the marketplace. As you can see, uh, it's in the new content so you can just get here and grab this uh, plugin. So mission and objectives uh, I would love to present right now it's a robust system for defining mission and objectives in a very simple but powerful way. As you can see, it's extending to the limits Unreal Engine 4 editor, redefining uh, all nodes and providing visuals for graph, and also providing uh, two new types of, uh, of assets. It is uh, basically mission and scripted action. So let's look into the missions provided by this plugin. Uh, first one is alternative collectibles and as you can see structure of this graph is quite simple on top you have this blue node which is uh, entry node and you have basically the same uh, on the right side you can just drag them or just right click enter node yeah so uh, those nodes are very simplistic uh, providing title text icon and showing narration which is always optional you don't have to show narration in the specific prompt uh, yeah so this is our starting node it's quite unique because it has no input pin and yeah uh, from this point uh, activated nodes will be those two objectives so first objective is saying that I need to collect uh, stars and how many stars I need to collect its uh, repetitions count. This uh, number is always shown on the right side and it's saying how many specific tasks needs to be repeated to, to complete this or fulfill uh, all uh, requirements, right? And after this uh, objective is uh, completed, it's, it's going to activate mission success unless we are saying that this mission success will not be activated when all parents done so if we want to wait for all objectives being done we just need to select this checkbox okay so uh, we have mission success we have also mission failure note and yeah we have three different flows here we have only uh, success one because all uh, flows are leading towards success but we have also uh, two different ones so first one is this green one which is positive uh, the second one is uh, optional which is neutral and it's showing us white and all objectives are shown as uh, white and it can be uh, treated like a side quest where you have additional objectives, additional actions, which can be done. And after completing those objectives, you, you get a reward. And in this case, uh, we have assigned scripted action. So when I fulfill this uh, objective, collecting cows, which is count four, I will uh, get a reward. And there is assigned cows collect reward. But I can change this or I can even assign more mm, if I want to. So every node has this uh, special scripted action whenever node is activated. But whenever this objective is completed, it has also separate list of uh, scripted actions. So that's, that's basically about uh, those objectives. Um, the plugin itself is really functional. Uh, what I'm saying it supports multiple uh, parents, multiple uh, children. So uh, when I just uh, break this connection, it will just jump into a neutral uh, node. And when I link this uh, here, it will be suddenly red. And you can see this flow is now red. The plugin itself also supports a lot of uh, serialized action like copy pasting, uh, duplicating nodes, uh, breaking connections so what you would uh, normally expect from any node editor plugin uh, itself uh, is supporting a lot of different uh, functionality first of all you have mission name based on the asset name so whenever you rename the asset it will also update the the mission name you can see that uh, my mission name is spacecraft travel if i add maybe 234 it will be spacecraft travel 234 
which is very very simple that's why when selecting uh, some missions whenever it should be started it's 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 very very simple so we can go to the level blueprint quickly and this is how you just start the mission you just get the mission manager and start the mission which is spacecraft travel 234 that's that's basically how it works Another really strong point of this plugin are multiple UMG systems uh, which are connected to, to, the, to the system and are integral part of this plugin. So let's quickly look into, into this. So in the mission hut uh, it is presented five of them. So first of all is mission prompt which is showing uh, whenever a mission is started, completed or failed in three different colors. Green is for succeeded, uh, white is for started and red is for failed. Then we have a mission log widget, which is also a history of all missions. That's why we have a checkboxes in progress, succeeded and failed. Uh, and every item can be just pressed and all history, uh, every log, every action, which uh, player took, it's, it's shown uh, there with a timer. Then we have narration, so every uh, activation of each node is presented here with a narration, of course, um, if this checkbox of narration is, uh, is checked. So every node is uh, here, it's queued, uh, so it will be shown one after another. Then we have uh, objective prompt, which is just showing a state of every objective and how many repetitions are currently done. In this case, it's two from 10, but it may be one from seven or whatsoever. And the last one is current list of objectives. And once again, it's showing in three different colors for neutral, positive and negative. So this is the best place to follow uh, our progress. In this place, in this simple combo box, you have change last activate reason, uh, which is just swapping uh, different missions based on the reason. And it can be mission started, objective updated, or just objective completed. Because all the missions are parallel and every objective can be done uh, independently. That's more like uh, pure visual information. So finally, we can jump into the missions itself and show how gameplay uh, looks, uh, which is implementing those objectives and missions. So first uh, map I would like to present is spacecraft mission. And when I hit play, you have this uh, prompt on the bot uh, on the top that it's showing what mission started. And now we have uh, some narration. Find spacecraft, jump on the board of the spacecraft. So yeah, we have only one objective uh, currently activated. That's why I need to fulfill this to, to make any progress in this mission. So I'm looking for a spacecraft and uh, UFO It's enter, jump on the board. Yes, I will press enter. Backspace is jump out, left mouse button is lift a cow, and right mouse button is a cow. And as you can see, there are narration, collect cows, as side objectives, you may want to collect some cows. Don't crash, be careful, and don't hit any obstacle. It will break your engine. So you can see there are few, exactly three new objectives. One is positive one, one is a side quest, let's say, and one is a red one. So when I uh, hit some obstacle, I will immediately have a mission fail, which shown on the top, mission failure, also narration without uh, any description. But yeah, the most important, this objective is also done, which, which is bad for us because we just lost the, the mission. So yeah, and it's also disabling my input, so now, <laughs> now I'm stuck and now I need, I need to restart the, the map. Okay, so that was the uh, negative uh, scenario, but now I will try to, to go uh, through positive one. So let's uh, jump on board once again. So I have land on the landing zone and I have collecting cows. So let's try to fulfill a side quest. So I'm collecting one cow, which is showing collect cows one from four, collect two from four, collect three from four, and when I collect the last cow, it will just complete my objective. And there is something uh, in addition, it's shown this reward, but what does it mean? 
because there is a scripted action uh, hooked up to, to this one, to this node, whenever collect house are completed, it is just spawning this actor on the map. And I will, I will show you just uh, right after. Okay, so now uh, there is only one thing I can do left. It's la landing on the landing zone. So I'm just uh, going here and jump off. And yeah, my spacecraft travel is completed. So last thing I need to do in this uh, in this mission is showing uh, scripted action, which is actually when collecting cows, you have collect uh, reward, cows collect reward. And yeah, uh, we can just jump quickly here, which is col uh, cows collect reward. And it always starts with execute um, action. And it's providing player controller, so you can do from this point uh, whatever you like to. And in, in this case, it's just spawning a star, taking uh, side mission completed, call reward, getting level and spawning actor in the start location. And that's, that's how it works. But it could also provide some rewards for the player because you have player controller and you could do basically what, what you would like to do. Okay, so you can also define as many, many scripted actions as you want. New scripted action, now we have two. And, and go on and go on. Okay, so let's jump quickly to the, uh, to the second mission, which is alternative objective. Uh, objective speak up and we have a simple uh, uh, mission where you need to collect uh, either uh, stars or either coins so I can just pick what what I would like to do and I have two objectives uh, activated at once so when I collect two uh, stars you can see that this mission is completed and when I do the same with uh, my coins, one, two, and three, yeah, and this mission is also completed. What is interesting about this, uh, I can quickly just go to alternative collectibles. And because this is like one objective, the second objective, and this is my result, I can wait until all parents are done. So whenever all the uh, objectives are done, I can just save, play, and now it requires me to collect both uh, three coins. And yeah, three coins you have on the bottom completed, also on the right. And when I collect one star, when I collect the second star mission, it's going to be completed. Yeah, and that's uh, basically uh, how this plugin works. And you can define really interesting stuff. I'm quite sure you can do this with, with this plugin. I forget to mention there is a mission log. You can uh, turn this on, toggle this on uh, with pressing just M and you have preview of the mission. You have activated uh, nodes. So we have find spacecraft, space adventure, and you have preview of those uh, narration, which is quite useful if you missed one of those uh, prompts and you can just return and you can close this and in progress you have this one nothing is succeeded nothing is failed but let's try to do this mission quickly so I just go around and land on the landing zone yeah and spacecraft is uh, travel is completed and now I have wow I have this mission succeeded with icon and yeah, every node which uh, was activated with specific time, land on the landing zone, collect cows, don't crash, and mission success. There is no mission uh, failure because it never was activated, but in case we have a mission failure, yeah, it will just show uh, like an error icon and mission failure. So that's basically everything from this, uh, from this prompt. Okay, so that would be everything from this uh, short video and plugin. I hope you like it and don't forget to leave a comment uh, below the video. Uh, I'm also posting a Discord channel and support uh, for this plugin. So if you want to help me improving this uh, in the future for future generations, uh, yeah, you're more than welcome. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, as always, see you next time.